Hey, it's Mike. I'm here at James's place. Um, I got this movie here, Elmo and Grouchland. Uh, I have never seen it before, even though it came out all the way back in 1999. But I just thought we'd check it out. It's Elmo. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Probably gonna be bad because it's friggin' Elmo. But you know, I do have to say I did like uh, Follow That Bird back in the day. That was a pretty good movie. So maybe this will be good. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's check it out. Now, this movie you're about to see is all about Elmo. Wow, look at all those people. Oh, he's talking to the audience. Hey, nice cardigan. <laughs> now, in this movie, Elmo is going to ask I'm not wearing a cardigan. He wants you to talk and play along. That's stupid that they made him talk to the audience. What if you're watching it at home like me? I don't have a cardigan on. What does he think, I'm friggin' Mr. Rogers? Ready? Yell real loud. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Wake up! Oh, you actually see him walking. Is that Tiger Woods in the poster there? Behind him? Elmo's bedroom has a picture of Tiger Woods. Oh, look, there's Tiger Woods again in the background. So not o only does Elmo have a poster, but he's also got a picture on his nightstand, too. And it's the same exact picture. Tiger Woods holding a trophy. Did he get that trophy for fucking his girlfriend in the ass? Let's go home. <laughs> so the, the blanket is actually alive. That's a little creepy. Zoe. Zoe, I gotta admit, like, I used to watch Sesame Street a long time ago. I don't really know Zoe. Is that his girlfriend or his sister? Elmo has an idea. <laughs> Elmo has an idea. Stuck Elmo's dick. That's my idea. Don't you think that's a good idea, Zoe? Oh my god, what is happening? He's like, ah! It's very special to Elmo and Zoe. That's why Elmo's gonna take it home. Suck. It's a very special blanket for Elmo. Now don't fucking touch it, bitch, or I'll slice your fucking eyes out. Well, but Zoe, Elmo wants his blanket back now. Well, in a minute, Elmo. No, not in a minute, Zoe. No. No, bitch. really bad. Whenever you see a full body shot of the characters, it only lasts for like two seconds. It never, there's never like a 30 second shot where you see them standing. They know that it looks so awkward that they have to get it off the screen as quick as possible because it just looks so weird and fake. Where's Elmo's blanket? Oh, I... Where's Elmo's blanket? That bitch... Zoe fucking ripped it! Just like I'm gonna rip her fucking head off later tonight when everybody's asleep! <laughs> I fucking hate Elmo. <laughs> That's gonna be this whole fucking movie. I like Sesame Street, and I like the Sesame Street characters, it's just Elmo I don't like. He's fucking annoying. I want my blanket. I want my blanket. Ugh. You can't have my blanket. You're not my friend anymore. Like, fuck you. Fuck Elmo. Look, and she feels like all bad now. Fuck Elmo. He's a piece of shit. So Bert and Ernie come on the screen every four or five minutes to not only explain what the fuck is going on to the children, but also to sort of break the film up because you know that kids can't pay attention for very long. Is Elmo kidding? Frizzy is right. Elmo will never get there. Elmo can't do anything. Elmo sucks. Elmo's a piece of shit. Elmo has no self-confidence. Elmo's gonna fucking blow his fucking brains away with this gun. <laughs> Elmo's fucking emo. Elmo has to slit his fucking wrists. Elmo, Elmo doesn't have a blanket. I have to slit my fucking Elmo wrist now. <laughs> Look at that guy's eyebrows. Look at how bushy his eyebrows are. 
if his eyebrows are that bushy, can you imagine what his ass crack looks like? So are those two married right now, right there? Uh, Gordon and his wife? Imagine uh, one day, like, I don't know, whatever, Cookie Monster's walking down the street and he, he looks in, like, their window on Sesame Street and, like, they're fucking each other. Or, or Gordon's, Gordon's eating her out and he's got a, He's got his mustache and her pussy. Cookie Monster's looking in the window and Gordon's eating her pussy and Gordon's like, I'll show you how to eat a cookie. Ah! I hope there's a pole hanging down in this mine shaft and he gets his head fucking cut off. And now the villain's gonna sing a song. This is painful. I want my only quarry. I love what is yours. This is the villain. This guy spinning this colorful umbrella around. He's really threatening. I almost performed in the bus and truck tour of West Side Story. They said I wasn't right for Maria. What do they know? This is so boring. Kids would not want to watch this scene. This fucking like old guy with bushy eyebrows talking about West Side Story. Kids will not sit still for this shit. Right now, every kid in the theater is thinking, when is, when is Elmo coming back? Where's Grover? Where's the Count? So this whole movie is basically, Elmo gets his blanket stolen, and then the fucking bad guy with the bushy eyebrows flies away to the top of his mountain, and Elmo has to walk over to the mountain. So it's kind of like the Lord of the Rings, but instead of a ring, it's a blanket, and it's all of the things that happen to Elmo along the way as he walks towards the top of the mountain, and you know what happens along the way every time? It's a fucking song every single fucking time. One bad song, and then another bad song, and then another bad song, and in between there's a little bit of, oh, I don't know where I am, I still wanna find my blanket. That's pretty much this movie. Nothing's happening, it's a music scene, music scene, music scene. The only thing is just, he's gotta find his blanket, that's it. There's just no fucking, there's no plot. It's so fucking bad. Like, what is this song I'm listening to right now? She's singing a song about your point of view? What? Some, like, generic advice? It sucks. 20 seconds to do 100... Well, that's why it's called the ultimate challenge. Ready, set, go. Hurry. You're wasting time. How can Elmo do this? How can Elmo do this? Wait, 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 wait! Can you please help Elmo do raspberries like this? This is what our children are learning. Yeah. Well, no one has ever passed the ultimate challenge before, and you did it. Ultimate challenge? Elmo said an ultimate challenge. Try to put Elmo's dick and balls in your mouth all at once. That's Elmo's challenge. Try and do it. Try and do it in under 10 seconds. <laughs> Are you guys still here with Elmo? Yeah. No, we fucking left the theater about 45 minutes ago because this movie fucking sucks and there's too many songs. Well, Elmo just got his blanket back once and for all. And I think after watching the whole movie, I have actually figured out why Elmo wanted the blanket back so badly after all. I was kind of making fun of the movie the whole way, but... I, I do think there is a really good purpose why he wanted the blanket back. I think it's because the blanket is his cum rag, and he jerks off onto it. Now I can go home and jerk off onto my blanket. 